Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with a word for today. And the word for today is justification. <clears throat> the word justification is the not guilty sentence at the end of a trial. It doesn't mean that a person didn't do the deed. It just means that the person has been acquitted, not guilty, and that the person now has right standing with the law and that the just qualification of the law has been met. And this is the concept in Romans chapter 3. It is interesting that Paul starts out Romans chapter 3 with, will someone's lack of trust nullify God's faithfulness? Certainly not. So <clears throat> the idea here is that it's based upon what God's doing, not what man does. He says, even if every man is a liar, God only speaks truth. He is righteous. He is just. Is God unrighteous when he brings judgment? Certainly not. In other words, God must bring judgment against ungodliness and unrighteousness. Now, it's interesting that Paul's accused of preaching the extreme grace message and vehemently denies it. In fact, he actually condemns the extreme grace message and those who preach it. Interesting. Now, all are under sin. There is no one righteous, no, not one. No one is considered righteous based on the legalistic observance of the law. See, God's way of making people righteous comes from God, not man, through the faithfulness of Jesus to all who trust in God. See, all have sinned, all fall short, but all are extended the opportunity of being made righteous through Jesus, through Jesus' substitutionary sacrifice for sin, his blood shed on the cross. God shows his forbearance. He demonstrates his righteousness in passing over sins and not judging them until Jesus makes a sacrifice. His righteousness is vindicated by showing that he is righteous. He is the one who makes people righteous on the basis of Jesus' faithfulness. God demonstrates that he's just and the justifier of those who trust in Jesus. Therefore, we hold the view that a person is justified, acquitted, considered righteous by God on the basis of trusting Jesus, on the basis of what Jesus has already done. By trusting Jesus, we confirm the law. Now, Paul has just written in chapter 2, it's not the hearers of the word who are righteous, it is the doers of the word who will be justified. Isn't that interesting? So we have to be careful that we don't take Scripture out of context and accuse Paul of being an extreme grace guy. What we do matters. Now, where we start is with repentance, for there's no forgiveness without repentance. But how we continue is by living a life that trusts Jesus, that relies on Jesus, that obeys Jesus, that has faith in Jesus. Because it's only through this relationship with Jesus that we have what we need to live in a way that pleases God, to live in a way that God justifies us. The word for today is justification. God bless. Check in tomorrow.